Hi guys, in this video, we are going to check out 10 best places to visit in Kansas. From a geographical point, Kansas is situated in the middle of the United States. Because of many reasons that Kansas is often referred to as the heart of America. The state boasts the beauty of the Great Plains and plenty of historical importance. Many people see Kansas as an escape location, due to the Wizard of Oz. However, there are plenty of amazing spots to visit. It's often referred to as the Sunflower State, and the Wheat State, which provides stunning and breathtaking sights to explore. Take a look at these amazing shots, and be amazed by its beauty. Did you know? That the state has the longest bridge on the railroad known as the Rock Island Bridge. If you like our content, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for our next videos. Monument Rocks The Chalk Pyramids, also referred to as Monument Rocks, are located inside Gove County in northwest of Kansas. The geological landmark is considered among the many natural marvels in the entire state. Monuments Rocks is over 80 million years old. The rock formations can be more than 70 feet tall, and the ones you shouldn't be able to miss are Charlie the Dog, as well as the Eye of the Needle. You'll also find shells, and even complete fossils within the rocks, if you look closely. The Monument Rocks were one of the first landmarks designated as the National Natural Landmark. The huge chalk formations are spectacular and irresistible, rising abruptly from the plain farmland, that surrounds the rocks on every side. The Keyhole, a well-known landmark, is a wide gap among the structures, and it is the ideal window to the sunset Kansas sun. Fort Scott National Historic Site In the 19th century, Kansas was classified as the frontier land. The settlement was still ongoing, However, it was necessary to have a military presence to protect the American borders. Fort Scott was constructed in 1842, and it was crucial during both the U.S. Civil War and Bleeding Kansas, a dispute that led to slavery, before it became a nationwide conflict. The Fort Scott National Historic Site can best explored with an organized tour. It is possible to visit 11 historic buildings, which house 30 rooms, that are fully furnished, and give you a glimpse into the life of over 150 years in the past. OZ Museum It's a tribute to everything Wizard of OZ, from the original book and 1939 movie to the Michael Jackson remake. Along the shores of the Kansas River is the small city of Wamigo. But don't let the size of Wamigo fool you, it has one of the most captivating places in the state. It's where you'll discover Wamigo's OZ Museum, a museum dedicated to the Wizard of OZ. You can see the collection of original books, modern collectibles, and memorabilia from the film. Some of the most unique and intriguing artifacts are the original silent films that are available online, in addition to ruby slippers that are covered with hundreds of Swarovski crystals. Lindsborg The most intriguing place to visit in Kansas is Lindsborg. The small-sized city was established by Swedish immigrants, in the late 19th century, and it is now referred to as Little Sweden. There are numerous stores, and historical attractions, which celebrate the local Swedish tradition. In the blacksmith shop, stroll past anvils and grab the local roast coffee. After a boost of caffeine, you'll be able to explore the Swedish pavilion. The landmark was built over 100 years ago, to host the World's Fair in Street Louis in 1904. It was later moved straight to Little Sweden, where it serves as the performing arts in Bethany College. Lindsborg is the home of several events, attracting huge crowds. The most well-known one is Svensk Helmingsfest, featuring Swedish singing, dancing parades, and vibrant Swedish costumes. Cosmosphere It's an outdoor space museum, and STEM education center, located in Hutchinson, Kansas. Its earlier name was the Kansas Cosmosphere. Located in the city of Hutchinson, the Kansas Cosmosphere and Space Center, more commonly referred to by its name, the Cosmosphere. 
It is the second biggest space museum on Earth, and is packed with exciting things to see and exhibits. At the Cary Digital Dome Theater, you can view films that explore space on a two-story dome screen. It is also possible to watch the live performance in the Dr. Goddard's lab, that takes the viewer through the 1930s, when rocketry was still a developing industry. The Cosmosphere's Hall of Space Museum is the most extensive collection of Russian and American space-related artifacts. Dodge City Western Kansas is home to Dodge City, a name that can replace by the Santa Fe Trail. Fort Dodge was built in the 19th century to guard those traveling along the trail or settling in Kansas. It was the display of Wild West, which is why we hear the phrase get the hell off of Dodge. However, today Dodge is a beautiful destination to visit, and full of interesting things and history. It's possible to visit Fort Dodge, and you might want to visit Boot Hill Museum. The museum is a complete replica of Dodge City, as it looked in 1876. Boot Hill Museum celebrates the city's frontier heritage by recreating an Old West Street, gunfight recreation, and historic buildings, including the old Fort Dodge Jail. To better understand the significance of Fort Dodge, you can stroll around some of the old structures, like the schoolhouse or Fort Dodge Jail. You can get a glimpse of how the general store and local saloon were in the 1900s. The Kansas Teachers Hall of Fame and the Gunfighters Wax Museum include life-size statues of the legendary characters. The home of Stone Museum is still preserving its original furniture from 1881. Eisenhower Presidential Library The central region of Kansas is a tiny city named Abilene, which houses an incredible and significant historical attraction. The Dwight David Eisenhower Presidential Library, Museum, and Boyhood Home is the museum and library of Dwight David. It was his 34th presidency in the United States, and his birthplace is Abilene, Kansas. The Eisenhower Presidential Library is situated in Abilene and linked with the Dwight David Eisenhower Museum and Eisenhower's childhood home. It's a high-quality research facility filled with millions of books, pictures, and artifacts. The exhibits are constantly changing and revolve around Eisenhower's life, presidency, and the state's history. Kansas State Capitol, Topeka Learn more about your Kansas knowledge by walking around the Kansas State Capitol in Topeka. The Capitol complex is spread over 20 acres, within the city's heart, and is an architectural treasure by those who love it. The French Renaissance-style building took 37 years to finish, after the first stone was laid in 1866. The sculptures, murals, and programs are held in the Capitol, however, go on the dome tour for a truly unique experience. It is only for those who can physically walk up 296 steps, to get a close view of the dome, and an incredible panorama viewpoint of Topeka, from the highest point. Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve It was once home to 170 million acres in North America, but most of it was converted into agricultural land, within one generation. Today, less than 4% remains, however, this national preserve seeks to preserve what is left. Tallgrass Prairie is a United States national preserve, and is mostly located within the Kansas Flint Hills. It's located just outside of Strong City, this preserve has miles of trails for hiking. It also has several historic buildings, such as the 19th century Spring Hill Ranch House, and the Limestone Barn. The fauna and flora are an attraction during springtime, and the prairies bloom with beautiful flowers. There are several bison, that have been roaming around the area, as a way to return them to their natural habitat. Wichita Wichita isn't the capital city of the state, however, it is the most populous town in Kansas. It's often called the air capital of the world, and home to many aerospace companies, and the Kansas Aviation Museum. One of the city's most popular attractions for children is Sedgwick County Zoo, which has a massive collection of over 2,500 animals. When you are in Wichita, take the time to walk in Old Town. 
The town has recently been revitalized, and has a great collection of shops, museums, and eateries. It's the largest city in Kansas and is an entertainment and culture hub. Wichita was once a trading point for Native Americans. It is now home to the world's biggest western wear shop, where you can buy new cowboy hats and boots. The name Cowtown comes from its importance in the cattle trade. It is home to a science center, an aviation museum, focusing on African American, Mid American, and Native American cultures. The Botanica Wichita Gardens is one of the best spot, the gardens impressively showcase gardening. The facility is open all year round and offers 30 themed gardens to explore. If you like our content, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for our next videos.